Today we are going to be talking about a serious subject. However, before we get into that, I do want to point out that I am using my best friend's studio here. So this is the Callaway Studios for our Tommy Callaway. Uh, I will put a link into his uh, into his page, and that way you guys can take a look at it. But this is all his stuff. He's just kind of helping me out as I create my channel. So Tommy, thanks, buddy. No problem. Um, but what we are going to be talking about today, it's, uh, it's something that is near and dear to my heart, a little bit of jazz, jazz music that is, and it shocks me to, to learn that not a lot of people understand about jazz music and where it comes from, or even some of the greats. Uh, I was getting my hair cut maybe like about a month or so ago. And I'm talking to my barber, and he, I mean, like, in the barbershop that I go to, they have the Rat Pack, they have Elvis, and so I'm like, oh, there goes the Rat Pack, and he's like, oh, the Rat Pack, who is that? I'm like, oh, well, I mean, it's Sammy, it's Dean, it's, uh, you know, Frank, and he's like, I don't, well, at least that was who, I know that the Rat Pack was bigger than that, calm your nerves, but that was who was in the poster, so... I asked him, do you know who Louis Armstrong is? And he looks at me and he goes like, I have no idea. Now, I get that most people have heard of Louis, like, and I mean, like, have heard the music. What a wonderful world. But the fact that they don't know who he is and how influential he has been on not just music back then, not just music that came after that, but music that is still being played today, it hurts my heart. In my closet, and I have a walk-in closet, so it's not like I have it like in a little small little area, but like I have a huge poster of Louis Armstrong just sitting up there because Louis is the, just the end all be all to me of jazz. Like he may not have been the most technical, the, the best technical player. I mean, that will be, we'll leave up to Miles Davis. My son's name is Miles. Yes, named after Miles Davis. But Louis, when you talk about somebody who embodied the soul and heart of jazz music, that was Louis Armstrong, hands down. So when my barber came up and told me, I don't know who this is, it hurt. Anyways, what I wanted to do was tell you a little bit about somebody even before that. Somebody who came way before Louis Armstrong. Somebody by the name of Buddy Bolden. Buddy Bolden is pretty much the person who invented jazz music. Way back in the day, back in the early 1900s, Jazz music was, or wasn't really even a big thing back then, but they did have musicians, of course, and they played in funeral marches, weddings, they played in churches, all these good things, and that's, you know, where, what musicians did. Buddy Bolden went to brothels, he went to bars, brothels, for those that don't know, are like whorehouses, and he went to bars, and he would take these sounds that he heard from the street and he would play the trumpet actually i'm sorry he played the cornet there's a huge difference between a cornet and a trumpet but i mean like if it's, they look very similar but the the cornet has a very wide uh, angled uh, curve to it whereas the trumpet has a very uh shallow curve to it so it has a different sound but they're very similar. People who play the cornet can easily transition over to the trumpet. Anyways, so he played the cornet and man, like he he would take these sounds and he would make this improvisation and you know, people loved his sound and they would come and they would listen to him play and it was amazing and uh, unfortunately, we don't we'll never know what he sounded like because he would never recorded. It wasn't until way later when uh, the original jazz band, they were the first people to be recorded. They did give that option to Freddie Keppard, but Freddie Keppard denied it because he was such a purist, he didn't want anybody to steal his sound. So the original jazz band were the first people to be recorded of jazz. Anyways, that's here and we're there, and that's not what we're talking about today. What we are talking about is Buddy Bolden and how he started jazz. And he started it 
by just listening to everything and then having this this mindset to take these sounds out in the world and really transform it into musical notes and yeah it literally drove him crazy so having this mindset to like take take the sounds of the streets of new orleans and and play it in in these brothels and, and in these bars and play it for people who just had never heard this before he eventually did go to an insane asylum and that's where he died but that was amazing he kicked it off he started it all he started jazz music he started gut bucket he started you know bop music he started swing i mean like all of that stuff could be traced all the way back to buddy bolden and i for those of you guys out there sitting going sitting there thinking well wait a minute i heard about this cat named jelly roll morton he was the one he nah, 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 nah. jelly roll morton was fantastic don't get me wrong but it was all buddy bolden Buddy Bolden was the one who started it. Buddy Bolden was the one who created it. He was the one who had the idea to like take the sounds of the streets and and the sounds of other musicians and then bring everybody together and like let's just have a jam session. He was the one who did it. If you listen to any music today and you like soloist, if you like improv, if you like freestyle, if you like anything that's being done in music today it could all be traced back to jazz what do you mean there was classical music way back then yes there was classical music that had been written out and that had been strategically placed so that you know every note was accounted for absolutely but freestyle but improv that was all jazz music and it was amazing <sighs> i love it I love jazz. There, there is nothing better than sitting down, listening to some good Louis, Miles, Kid Ori, Sidney Bechet, oh, Art Tatum, Art Pepper. I mean, these cats were fantastic at what they did, and whew. Well, all of those guys can can look back and think Buddy Bolden. Because Buddy Bolden was the one who started it all. Well, that's it. I got that's that's all I got for tonight, guys. Um, I appreciate your time. If you guys like this, hit the subscribe button. I don't know if it's at the top, at the bottom. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so you guys know where to find it. And if you guys like what you're hearing and you want to hear more of it, subscribe, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, have a good one. <laughs>